I love that dirty water. Love that dirty water TV. I love that dirty water TV. Love that dirty water TV. Dirty water TV. All over Boston, you'll see. Dirty water TV. Wherever you want to be. Dirty water Boston, you're my scene. What would you want to see? Want to touch? Want to breathe? Every inch of the city. I want to feel history. On the stars, it's the scene. In the bars, cheer the teams. Our passions are next. Boston's pure energy. Thank you for coming down to uh, Martha's Vineyard. We love that dirty water. Absolutely. Well, we're going to get into more with Mike later. We also, though, checked out Mike's spot, The Lookout. So if we could, Jimmy, let's rewind it back to where we started today, right off the Island Queen Ferry. And let's go back to where we all began here on Martha's Vineyard today. And that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Ticket. Because you're looking at the the look out, right. looking out at the ocean. Like, I honestly do not know what my obsession is with this place, but I am, I love this place. Like, I'm completely obsessed. Well, I know the whole ferry ride over actually just, you know, the look out, the look out. We have to go there first. Martha's Vineyard, you've never been. I can't believe it. All right, we're here. The drink's good. I mean, the GM was really nice, Sean, and he was like, you know, girls, I'm going to make you something not on the menu, so I feel kind of VIP. It's a gorgeous view, yeah. Well, well, here's the deal, right? It's really casual. You have this outside deck and it's called the lookout because you're looking out at the I mean literally the ocean is a hundred feet maybe um, and what is absolutely incredible about this place is they serve sushi so you're having sushi on the water with fabulous summer cocktails we're drinking a frozen blueberry lemonade at the moment which is fantastic I mean for summertime it just does not get any better than this and it might be going down too easy and what I can give the lookout credit for is that any you know mom and pop seafood place, the Cape Martha's Vineyard, they're a little bit too afraid to break the barrier of going into sushi, but not only do they have sushi, they offer sushi, it's not just a couple rolls, it is an entire side of the menu, I'm like wait, that's all sushi and I can't wait to order some up, I am ready to go to town, yeah. But listen, we're not going to rave on about this place, you know, you don't have to take our word for it, we're actually going to run through here and get some other people's opinions about it um, and check in with locals and visitors who come here and make a trip here on a very regular basis. I like coming here because it's a great crowd. You know, it's not a lot of kids here. It's not all, t you know, 21, 22 year olds. It's every age. That's why I like it. And you get to look out. We love it for the obvious reason, the view. And I love it for the variety of beers on tap okay. and the great food. Love the sushi. I got great beer here, a lot of uh, selections. The IPA is excellent. We're just having a great time, and the lookout is super. We uh, 
it's a special time we come here each year. Three, two, one. Shotski. I'm here with contestant number three of the Shotski. What was in that shot? What did you just take down? It's called a liquid gummy bear, a white gummy bear or something. Sopalicious makes it. He invented it, I think. It's awesome. White gummy bear is stoli raz, peach tree, and a little sour mix. It's something we got from uh, all the people that work here that went down to Key West uh, last last past winter. And uh, they got a nice list of different um, different shots that we now serve here, which is all fun and good. Lookout is the best place. The view, top of the hill. We're only crushed that it's not open all year round, but we take it from April to October, and it's the best. They have the best chicken wings in town. Whoa, chicken wings. I was talking to the sushi. The sushi's good also, yes. But when you're looking out at the lookout, look what you're looking at. So why, why do you come to lookout when you come here to Martha's Vineyard? Because I love this bar. Oh, well, I can tell. We had a spicy tuna roll, and I'll tell you what, we eat the sushi here all the time, and it's some of the best sushi on the island. We enjoy coming to the lookout. They've got great beers, great food. Always come back here every summer. I love this place for the people that are here, the, the view that you have, and to get away from the Cape Cod hustle and bustle. Great, great group of people that work here and uh, love this place. Cheers, Cheers for beers. Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> <laughs> That's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Hicks Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Party going at Dino's Sports Bar on Route 151 in Mashpee, a great outdoor patio and the best pizza on the king. Then it's a return to the beach house, back to Boston for a Sox game and a party on the patio at Dillon's on Boylston Street. Next stop, the Sand Dollar Bar and Grill in Dennis, birthplace of the Cape Cod Connection. As the summer heats up, so does Dirty Water TV at Trader Ed's annual bikini pool party. Then it's all aboard as we hit the boathouse in Falmouth Harbor. Finally, the Cuervo Summer Tour goes out in style with a season-ending bash at the Chicken Box on Nantucket. Twelve nights of excitement from the hottest spots to party. For more, check out DirtyWaterTV.com. We will be at Nancy's next week, and we are sitting here with Dougie from Nancy's. Morgan and I actually experienced this firsthand, the Dirty Banana Mudslide. Tell me about that. That has just turned into like our staple. That's right? our most popular drink. Everybody loves it. it. Tastes like a banana chocolate milkshake and it's all booze. All booze with a little piece of banana and people get nuts. They love it. That explains a lot, right? I won't lie, I got off the Island Queen today, my first time at Martha's Vineyard. We headed over to Nancy's immediately and Billy said, can I order for you? And I said, go ahead. Three dirty bananas, please. I was a little bit skeptical, but Nancy's delivered. That is the best drink I've ever had. Up next, meet Crystal, this week's Dirty Water News bartender profile. And later, we will introduce you to Mike Santoro, the owner of Seasons, when Dirty Water TV's 2011 Cuervo Summer Tour continues. Hi, this is Mike Santoro from Seasons Pub in the Lookout Tavern here in Montes Vineyard, and I love that Dirty Water TV. The 2011 Dirty Water TV Summer Tour is brought to you by Jose Cuervo, the world's number one selling tequila. 
Live Legendary with Jose Cuervo. And by White Tie Luxury Transportation, the Cape and Islands' premier luxury chauffeur service. Ride in luxury with White Tie Luxury Transportation. And Sass on Main Fashion Boutique. Dress your summer with sass. Sass on Main of Hyannis. And by the Island Inn of Martha's Vineyard. Escape to the serenity of the Island Inn. Have you always wanted to open up a boutique? Um, you know, it was a thought in the back of my head. I think it's every girl's dream to open her own boutique, but when I was laid off from my corporate job in Boston, I decided I might as well just do that dream. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here at Dirty Water TV, another stop on our 2011 Jose Cuervo summer tour at Seasons on Martha's Vineyard with Ashley Daly. And Ashley, I heard you were busy last week. You were down the Cape in Hyannis. Sass on Main, was it? Yeah, Sass on Main is this super fashionable, super trendy little boutique. It's owned by Sarah Flaherty. She has really created this very cute little boutique to be able to have access to all those great fashions that usually you would only be able to get by coming to the city. So without further ado, I actually had a chance to sit down with her um, last week at the Beach House and here's what she had to say about her shop. So Sarah, tell me a little bit about the designs that your store carries. We're carrying Miss Me jeans, Angie clothes, Wow Couture, Staccato, tons of great, fashionable, fun, affordable clothes for young women ages like 15 to 55. So now you guys are in Hyannis. What was the whole, like, why did you guys want to be in Hyannis? Well, Hyannis has lacked a neat, like, store of fashion and fun for a long time. And so I thought, why not do it in a place that, you know, needs something for young women? So now it's summer. What are the hottest trends that you're seeing right now? Fly through your store shelves because it's summer. Well, I have amazing bikinis. All of them are under $40. And fun sundresses, tops, like, very, very sexy, cute. So when you say affordable, what's your like price range like if I was coming in for a sundress? Anywhere from $22 to $68. That is very affordable. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. So is this top from your store as well? It is, yes. It's very cute because I noticed you walking in earlier and I was like, that's very cute. Do you design anything that comes in your store or are you just a buyer of other products? I don't. I actually go to New York and go to all the fashion shows and wholesale shows and get everything there. But I do carry, as far as my accessories go, all local artisans from Cape Cod make all the accessories I carry. Earrings, um, oh, I'm not wearing any at this moment, but um, all my earrings, necklaces, everything are made locally. Purses, purses, some bags, yes, they're not made locally, but. So tell everybody where exactly in Hyannis your store is located on. It's at 590 Main Street, right next to 586 Restaurant. Okay. And do you have a website that everyone can go to if they want to find your clothing? Yep, www.sassonmain.com. So yeah, Sarah has a fantastic shop down there, what you say? Those styles are unbelievable. Like, I don't even find things like that in Boston. Downtown Boston, she's got the edge on style in Hyannis, Definitely for sure. the place to go if you're down here in Hyannis, for sure. If you are still missing what is going on, upcoming events here in Boston you want to know, definitely pick up Dirty Water News, for sure. Yeah, we are live in living color on every newsstand. And actually, this week, we got a chance to catch one of our Dirty Water News highlights on camera. Crystal Mavridi is from the place. We have a Dirty Water News bartender profile. We're going to toss it to her right now and see what she's shaking up at the place. Hi, my name is Crystal and I'm a badass bartender here at the place, which is located 2 Broad Street. You can check out our website at theplaceboston.com. I work every Tuesday and Thursday, so come in and come say hi to me. My favorite drink to make is the yellow Gatorade, which is three olives dude, water, and sour mix. My favorite drink to drink is raspberry stoli and ginger ale. And the best night working was when it was a Tuesday night and all the Red Sox came in and I got an amazing tip from them, which was $1,500, which made my night. They asked, told me I was the best bartender in Boston. So come on in every Tuesday and Thursday and come check me out. And joining us now is Derek Tipton, who is the general manager here at the Island Inn. So Derek, first of all, tell, how would you describe the Island Inn to someone who's perhaps never been here before? 
Well, the Island Inn is a 51-unit condominium resort. We're set on seven acres right across the street from Nantucket Sound. Um, we have uh, units of varying sizes, all with kitchenettes. And as you can see, we have a lovely pool, tennis courts, a kiddies playground. Um, we are pet friendly, uh, family friendly, um, close to town, uh, close enough to get into town, but far enough out to be away from the crowds. As you can see, it's very peaceful and serene out here. Now is there anything besides obviously what you previously mentioned that is a little bit more special or more different about staying here at the island compared to any other place on the vineyard? Well I think our most important feature are, are the kitchens and all the units. Um, dining out with the family three times a day for a, for a four or five night stay can be very expensive mm -hmm. and uh, the ability to make breakfast and lunch and then go out for dinner or the other way around is, is a big plus. We're a mile and a quarter from the center of Oak Bluffs and only four miles from Eggertown um, and less than a quarter of a mile from two fabulous beaches. The grounds here are absolutely gorgeous. There's fresh flowers everywhere. It's very green. Um, you guys obviously put a lot of time and work into the grounds here. We do. Big kudos to our landscaping staff. Um, the vibe here changes by the season and I would say in the spring and fall uh, we are more geared to couples and uh, younger people are escaping for the weekend to have fun on the vineyard. As, as you can tell it's a fun spot. Um, in the, in the uh, summer when the kids are out of school we're more family oriented. Parents love to bring the kids here because there's so much to do between the pool and the playground and going into town or going to the beach or renting bicycles. It's, uh, we're loaded with, with family pastimes in the summer. We love the Island Inn! Up next we'll sit down with Mike Santoro, owner of Seasons, when Dirty Water TV's Cuervo Summer Tour returns. We're the Rudy family from Baseball Tavern and we love Dirty Water TV. He not only owns the lookout, he also owns Seasons, where we're here at this very moment. So Mike, tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind the lookout and of course here at Seasons. Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome Ashley, welcome you to the Vineyard, Thank and also you. Morgan. Welcome Dirty Water TV, this is awesome. Thanks for Thank coming. Thank you so much, Mike. It's always nice to have uh, a Boston uh, contingency down in the Vineyard. So I understand you were at the lookout earlier today. You had some great sushi over there. Yeah, yeah. And what was your favorite role? Did you? The Steve special. Steve special. It was tuna. It was yeah. It was tuna and tempura wrapped with like tuna and salmon on top. It was unbelievable. The well, lookout is my uh, is my baby. We we took a five bedroom cottage 12 years ago and we converted it into a nice rustic tavern and. Uh, you know, you can't beat the view over at the lookout. And then we have, uh, this is our other restaurant, Seasons Pub. And we also actually serve sushi uh, here also, but uh, Seasons is uh, the sports bar of uh, Martha's Vineyard. You know, we have 16 TVs, and uh, we just had a great, great run with the Bruins. Go Bruins, that was that awesome? And uh, so yeah, Seasons is, uh, it's like the cheers of Martha's Vineyard. Morgan and I have been dying to see the band tonight because we've heard so many great things about about it. Tell me about the entertainment scene here. Well, uh, tonight we have the band Syndicate. They're Cape Cod's uh, number one party band. They'll play, you name it, they'll play it. And we also do what's called uh, uh, live band karaoke. So you can pick a song out of the band's song list and you can get up and actually sing with the band. And, and this all this all took place because of my good friend and actually Cape Cod's hottest DJ, Alvesy, who introduced me to Syndicate. And uh, it's turned out to be the number one, uh, it's like a Saturday night. Tuesday nights. That's what we've heard. 
It's like Saturday night, yeah. Right after this interview, you're going to see, you're going to hear, you're going to see Syndicate. They are, they're awesome, and this place will be rocking. Thank you so much for taking the time to oh, speak with us pleasure. today. It's been an absolute blast and hanging out at your places. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't <laughs> so Thank you. Great having you guys. Thank you. We'll wrap things up from season when Dirty Water TV returns. TV. I'm Morgan Chase. And I'm Asha Jillian. This is Alzi, who is in charge of putting events together like tonight. Basically, this is called Island Rockstar. It's the number one band on Cape Cod, syndicateband.com. Go to the website, it's Syndicate Band. And we charter a boat, which is a Patriot Party boat. We bring over 50 people from the mainland with us. And we come over here on a Tuesday night. So as we say on Cape Cod, the Tuesday is the new Saturday. This place is off the hook tonight, and we love that Dirty Water TV. We want to thank Mike from Seasons and The Lookout. We want to thank Rooney for coming down from the Baseball Tavern. Estree's here from The Place. We have Colin from Dirty Water News. We have Dougie from Nancy's. Donnie from Sunny. Oh, we got Donnie from Sun and Fun Transportation. They gave Higgs a sweet red Jeep Wrangler that we've been cruising up and down by this unit all day. So without him, we wouldn't yes. be getting anywhere. Please cue the band. All right, Syndicate, let's hit it. <laughs>